Ethan Lewis Butler is going to lead us in the affirmation of faith in that yes. word. Eternal God, our Father, we come before you, Master, as humble as we know how. First, we'd like to tell you, God, thank you. Thank you for your mercy and thank you for your grace. And thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you for what you've done for us, Master. Thank you for what you're doing and thank you for what you're going to continue to do in our lives. Let your will be done, Master. We said yes before your will and yes for your way. And Master, we just saying yes to your will and your way today, Master, on this special occasion. Uh, you said in your word in Jeremiah 3 and 15 that you would send, uh, send us, Master. You said you would send the shepherds after your own heart. And you send us two special shepherds today, and we're here to celebrate them, Master. And we ask them, Master, that you just give us the will to do our part today, Master. And Master, we ask you to touch everyone under the sound of my voice that's standing in the need of prayer, Master. And Master, we ask a special anointing on the man of God who's praying your word today. We ask a special prayer for his church and his church family, Master. Just the family of everyone that's here today, Master. We ask that you, we know you're able, Master, that you do it and do it as only you can. We give your name, praise, honor, and glory in Christ Jesus' name. We do pray we ask it all. And all that agree said amen, amen, and amen. And thank you, God. Thank you. I will bless the Lord at all times, yes. and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Yes. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, yes. and let us exalt his name together. Yes. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, yes. and delivered me from all of my fears. Yes. They looked up on him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, yes. and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around them that feared him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted him. Oh, fear the Lord for his saints, for he have, there is no one for them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, O oh, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you to fear the Lord. What is he that desired life and love in many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lip from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and the ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil and he will cut them off the remembrance of them that fear up from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hear it. And delivered them out of all of their troubles. I read to you Psalms at the, chapter 34, verse through the 17th verse. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and hearers and doers of His holy word. Amen. 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 Remain standing. Remain standing, everyone, as we welcome our leaders, Pastor Dennis J. Rogers and Lady Missionary Dora Rogers. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for remaining standing. I have come for you, come before you with a sponsored reading of the Affirmation of Faith, which is located on your second page of your program. And it reads as follows. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We affirm our faith in blessed hope. We affirm our faith and repentance. We affirm our faith and salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in the Holy Spirit. And we affirm our faith in sanctification.
that means 11 years is the beginning of a new cycle. So GMB, get ready. Because we're going higher and higher. Every round going higher and higher. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to have the response to the welcome by First Lady Alicia Withers. Let's say amen. amen. Jesus, why don't you clap your hands with me and celebrate Jesus? Amen. We're certainly glad to be in the house of the Lord on this afternoon now. And I am just excited about the word that's going to come forth and the fellowship that we have on today. And we want to, as you celebrate your leaders, we're going to celebrate with you. And we're going to celebrate not only your leaders, but we're going to celebrate Jesus together. For the word of the Lord says, Oh, magnify the Lord. today we want to say thank you for that beautiful welcome and as we celebrate Jesus we celebrate Jesus with you God bless you and again we welcome everybody here all the visitors and the first lady and everybody and you know what uh, Elder White our sister Pastor Elder White is going to recognize the pulpit comes shortly amen so now we're going to have um, tribute by Deacon Eric Franklin and Sister Erica Franklin. Let's say amen. 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 talk to him on a personal or private level, his heart and mind is about this ministry and the people of God. What you see is what you get. Amen? Amen. This man here serves, he serves around the clock for us. Around the clock for us. And so um, I know that sometimes we talk on a uh, personal level and sometimes we talk on a private level. The personal level always end back up with what God has done for him and us and this church. Amen? Amen. So many of you don't know this, 
But during COVID, with under his leadership, we went through some things to keep this ministry going. You wouldn't believe it. Some of the things that he had to endure to make sure that the doors of this church stayed open. So there was, now, this doesn't have anything to do with the character of the deacon board. This deacon board is a strong deacon board. It's 10 deep. Amen? Amen? But there were certain duties on Sunday mornings when we were doing the drive-up service that all of the deacons were given a task to do. But pastor was out there every morning, every Sunday morning, with a one of those grabbers and a trash bag picking up trash around this church. I'm telling you what I know. He didn't have to be. He could have been in the office letting the deacons do what they do. But this man was out on the parking lot. Matter of fact, he was around this entire campus picking up trash. Now, doesn't that show humility right there? Is that humbleness? The man of God that could have been preparing, and then he would come back and preach the, preach the community down. Amen? But that just shows you he does, that's, that's just his character. That's what God has put in him as a leader. Who wouldn't follow a leader like that? Amen? And, and, and there was one instance, and I'm pretty sure he don't mind me telling, but there was one morning we were out there, and there was a car drove by, and that person gave us gave him a word that you wouldn't believe about this church. And there wasn't any good words, I put it that way. And, you know, pastor, he just, uh, he had that grabber in his hand and he had his bag. And, and when that lady said what she said, he said, well, you're welcome. She, she drove on up the street, but he says, you're welcome to come on back. Sunday morning service starts at 11. Amen. So even he got cursed out. But he still, his response was, you're welcome. Come on back and, and serve with us. And he and, and immediately, well, that Sunday morning, he still preached to the community. Who wouldn't follow a leader like that? He did turn around and give her the business. Amen. But he served, and he served, that's serving right there, just how you react to what others do. But this man is a great man of God. Along with his wife, she's a great leader by his side. And I know that we are in good hands under his leadership. Amen? So on this morning, if you love this man and woman of God, I want you to take 30 seconds to stand on your feet and show him and her our first lady. Sister Franklin and myself at the Greater New Bible Way Church Body thanks you for your leadership. Well, First Lady, we thank you for being by his side. We know that y'all two were put together by God and no, no man should put us under. Amen. And we thank you on this morning. God bless you. And she does have a little gift for you. And First Lady, uh, tell Pastor Rogers to check his cash out. There's one for you and him. Amen. Thank you. Amen. The scripture said, many are called, but few are chosen. Praise God. We thank God that our pastor and first lady were chosen. They are chosen vessels for his purpose and his direction. Praise God. Right now we have a young man, an individual from our community that's going to talk uh, to us this morning. And if you would sit and listen uh, to him attentively, I'm sure he has something that we would need to know. And it's former Judge Sanders. Saints, first giving honor to God for allowing me to be here and giving honor to Pastor and First Lady Rogers for allowing me to share 
his anniversary. We met earlier this week and he said, hey, it's my anniversary, but you're welcome to come on by and share a few remarks. Let's just go along with what the young man just said before about the type of person he is. I also want to recognize my good friend Deacon Butler for establishing this connection uh, with your pastor. So I'm Ernest Sanders, and I'm here because I'm running for 5th Division Circuit Court Judge. Uh, many of you may know Judge Wendell Griffin. So Judge Wendell Griffin is retiring, right? So there are a lot of things I could say, but I'm not going to take advantage of the situation because it's about him. The main thing I want to talk to you guys about is my experience. As she recognized me as former Judge Sanders, I was actually a circuit judge before in this exact same seat that I'm running for. If any of you have ever like, interviewed for a job or you've been on the other side doing the interviewing, you will know that one of the main things we look for on that resume is what? Experience. Experience, exactly. So I see you guys are the voters. You all are interviewing us candidates for this position. So when I come to you and say, I mean, I actually serve as circuit judge. We had a judge who was removed a few years ago, and I was appointed by former Governor Mike Beebe to fill out the remainder of that term. And so I, I did it well. I mean, I've learned I have to brag on myself on a campaign. I wasn't used to doing that. Oh, there one church service I heard the preacher say, it's a poor dog that won't wag his own tail. So I've been out here wagging my tail ever since I heard that. <laughs> no, I, I served well. So I'm asking for your vote. I'm going to be here after service with some cars. There's a lot of more information. I've got a website and everything you guys can look at. But I'll be here. Um, the election is May 24th. As you know, early voting starts a week from Monday, May 9th. And we're encouraging people to go early vote. You know, we had a lot of election laws passed and everything. So if you mess around and wait until the 24th, you can mess around and get challenged. And there's an opportunity that your vote, your vote may not count. So I have a website, formerjudgesanders.com. I also have a Facebook page, at formerjudgesanders. And I ask you humbly for your vote for 5th Division Circuit Court Judge. Thank you all.
this. We're not put the anointing and the power of the Lord first. Because once again, I was talking to someone. Naturally so, I'm a quiet individual. But because of God has worded my mouth and he has touched my lips, I am able to minister and stand before you, the people of the Most High God. Come on and give God a hand praise to the house. Amen, amen. We serve to give honor to our own Superintendent Robinson and Lady Robinson. And the pulpit will be acknowledged, but I just want to acknowledge our speaker of the hour, uh, Pastor Withers and Lady Withers. Amen, amen. And I thank God and I honor my mother in love. The one who stood with me, the one who yet stands with me, the one who took me out on the road, Deacon Butler, in ministry, who taught me, who trained me. If you want to know how I got what I got, I want the mother, uh, the state supervisor of the house to stand my mother, godmother, Mother Donna Robinson. <laughs> Amen, amen, and my fellow co-laborer in the work of the Lord at uh, New Calvary, Lady Marilyn Hobson. Amen, my friend, my friend, we still pray, we still stay in touch with each other. Amen, given under once again to Lady Withers on today. Thank God for the First Lady Murders, Mother Leona Rogers. Amen, amen, the one who helped pave the way. Uh, along with Superintendent Robinson, so Pastor Rogers and I can stand here on today. We just thank God for each of you, the body of Christ. We thank God for Greater New Bible Way for affording us the opportunity to serve a Greater New Bible Way. We thank God for you because without you, Because without you, Great New Bible Way, Pastor Rogers and I would not have an opportunity to serve. We would just be two leaders teaching and preaching to pews. But we thank God for you, Great New Bible Way. And Mother Dandridge and Missionary Parker, you outdid yourself this year. Amen. Amen. We just certainly appreciate the, uh, the decoration. And we want to acknowledge our family. If you will all please stand, our family, will you please stand on today? Amen. Brother Rogers, the Rogers family. My cousin, Deacon Butler, and my friend, and my, I call her family as well, Sister Judy Bullock, and my big brother. Yes, yes. We're just a couple of months apart. But he's always said he was the boss of me. And because he's always taken, and I say this sincerely, he's always taken good care of me. He's always been by my side. He was in our wedding, my big brother and my sister, Michael Whitaker and Laura Whitaker. We thank God for our children, uh, Brother G.J. Rogers and Sister Delicia, who is not with us, and Sister Chastity and all the grandchildren. We thank God for our families. And I want to give my mother some honor. My own biological mother, Mother Hattie Daniels. We thank God for the distance that she has brought, that God has brought us. She came from the hospital room to rehab. And if the Lord said the same, she will be going home on Tuesday. So we thank God and give her honor and give her grace. And before I take my stand, once again, it's to God be the glory. Mother Clark, we thank you. She told me she was coming. We thank Mother Clark for being here as well. She's not only pastor's mother, but I adopted her as well. Amen. We are, we're a team, and so we share. Amen. Amen. Once again, it's to God be the glory for the things that he has done and the things that he will do. And I'm just looking over the room, and I see Daddy Deacon Robinson that's here. Mother Robinson's husband. God bless you. Uh, we, uh, my daughter knows him as Peepaw. <laughs> that's right. And well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad. Amen. I'm almost speechless. Amen. When I look back over my life, when I see what the Lord has done for us, great and new, by the way, 10 years, 10 years, 
I was given some instructions. If you do it like this here, you will continue to be successful. But one thing my father didn't tell me would happen, that we would have a COVID situation. There was no roadmap. There was no guidelines. There were no instructions to follow. But I heard a word from the Lord. If you do it like this, you're going to come out all right. Come on, Brady New Bible, and let's give ourselves a hand. Hallelujah. That's why I can say, had it not been for the Lord that was on our side, Superintendent, amen, being with us. Come on, thank God, amen, for Superintendent Robert Robinson. Amen, and I'm so glad, amen. Another one of my fathers in the gospel, amen, he sent his son here, amen, and I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Thank God, amen, for Elder Willie, Elder Ratliff, amen, Elder Ratliff, amen. I know you represented your father, amen, but it's just like him being here when I see you. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Amen for you all today. Amen to my, amen, my co-laborer, my friend, my buddy in the gospel, Pastor Hobson. Amen. God bless you today. God bless you today. I wasn't expecting this. Amen. I understand this hour that we're having this today. Amen. So that might be why. Amen. But I'm not making no excuses. Amen. But we just thought we would do it in-house one more time. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank God for your elders. Amen. I see you all. Amen. I don't want to start naming all the names. Amen. I appreciate you. Amen. Being with us all today. I certainly thank God. Amen. For my assistant pastor, Ella White. Amen. Amen. I know I, there's no way I can do this by myself. But I thank God for him. Amen. The chairman of this service. Amen. The co-chairman. First administrator, Deacon Stephen Jackson today. Amen. And this dynamic, amen, presider today. Amen. Also, Brother Jesse Daniel is doing an outstanding job. I appreciate these people. They help us. Amen. Along with, amen, our head deacon. Amen. Deacon Roy Davis. Amen. President Hobbs, amen, amen, serving over our missionary department, amen. I thank God for the leadership of this church. Thank God First Lady has already recognized the family. Thank God for a family that have us, amen, lifted up all of the time, amen. From my mother to the children to the grandchildren, amen, to my extended family on today, God bless you, amen, again, thank God for my godmother, my other mother, Mother Classic Clark, yeah. amen, I know the effort that you put forth to be here, and I want to let you know that I'm grateful, I'm grateful today, amen, there's so many that I really would love to thank personally, amen, and I see you today, amen, thank God for First Trinity being in the house over there, amen, we appreciate you. To all the committees, to all those that made this service to be what it is, Pastor First Lady, appreciate the efforts that you put in. What about this choir today? Now, many of y'all know our praise team carried us through the pandemic. 
Amen. But today is the first time that the choir has come back together. Come on, y'all, and help me thank God for the choir today. Thank God, missionary Shonda Perry, bringing the choir back together. And this is an honor. all so much today. Amen. As First Lady stated, amen, we have so many family, amen, and I just want to say a few words too about thank God for our, my mother-in-law, First Lady's mother, and what God is doing in her life. Amen. She's not here, but I know she's with me in spirit. Amen. I'm going to say a little something, amen. First Lady might not agree with me, but I'm going to say it anyway. My mother-in-law is a good lady. And I know she loves her son-in-law. Oh, yeah, in front of everybody. Amen. Of course she does. If she didn't, she wouldn't be saved. <laughs> but just to let you know how much she really loves me, we were down at the house one day. Amen. I don't know if it was Christmas, Thanksgiving, or just happened to be down there. Amen. And we were talking and carrying on and carrying out. And she looked and she said, you know what, Ella Dennis? You got Doreen spoiled. I said, Lord, Mother, I'm so glad to hear you say that. You make me feel so good. Amen. Besides what I hear at home, oh, Lord, I thank God for my mother and mother-in-law loves me. Amen. And she realized what's going on in my house. I'm grateful for my mother-in-law today. We love her. Amen. Appreciate y'all continuing to pray for her strength. Amen. She's on her way back this way. She's on her way back this way. And to God be the glory. Amen. I'm just a laughable person. I love to have fun. Amen. I understand the seriousness of the business that we Amen. But when we're at home and when we're with family, amen, I enjoy family. Amen. Because so much is going on today. Amen. We're here today and we could easily be gone on tomorrow. I'm grateful today. Thank God for my mother. Amen. She'll be celebrating 80 years. She don't look like what she's been through. But tell somebody the grace of God. The grace of God will sustain you. It will keep you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I'm happy. I'm happy. Again, when I look back over 10 years and I see where we are, many things came against us. Many things have come against us. Amen. But there's a praise chant. Amen. Ella Rogers. Amen. That you sent me the other day. And that's been in my spirit. I'm not going to try to sing it. Amen. I know. Everything that the devil meant for me. God made it. What?
But I want you to know that if you can't be a brother, you can't be a bishop. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. You can't be a brother, you can't be an elder. He said, I just want to send you a message that we are brothers in the Lord. And so I, I, I like your spirit and, and his, his, his father, we work together close with, with, uh, with Bishop Lindsay. But, but the anointing of God is upon Dennis. And the anointing that was upon his father was the anointing God placed upon him. But God has given Dennis a different anointing. For this day and time. Come on, let's praise God for him. And, and I, I, I'm just moved by the, the team that they share when it comes to ministry. Uh, that means a lot uh, uh, to, to, to the, the atmosphere that they set. And they remind me of um, Priscilla and, and, and Aquila. And you know, these days, and see, see, he's not jealous of Sister Dora. Sister Dora is not jealous of him. We just did this together, making a difference in the kingdom. And that's awesome, that's awesome. That they complement each other um, in, in such a powerful, impacting way. You know, when we refer to husband and wife, we say Robert and Mauricia. Uh, we say, you know, you know, we say the man's name first, right? But then when Paul referred to uh, Aquila, he called his wife's name first. He said Priscilla and Aquila. They weren't concerned about whose name he called them first. We just did this together. <laughs> doing kingdom work, and I praise God and celebrate you. And it's important that we recognize the pastor and his wife, not just today, not just today. Now, people go to the job, they know who the supervisor is. They know, they know who the boss is. Uh, they go to energy, they know who's in charge. But when they come to church, it looks like everybody won't be in charge sometimes. <laughs> you know your place wherever you go, but when you get to church, you act like you forgot your place. And remember, God has appointed the pastor, the head of the church. Come on, boy. by his side. Now, everybody love to be a pastor on today. Bishop Joe Patterson, here I go again. Bishop Joe Patterson, senior, said, told the preacher, anointed preacher, he said, I would give you this church but you don't believe in tithing. You know, he said, uh, I've been working with his brother, but he just doesn't believe in tithing. But he can preach Genesis to Revelation. Now, I wonder what he's doing with the scripture when it comes to tithing. And the church alone, the tithing is settlers, thousands of dollars, uh, certain Sundays of the month. And the man said, please, Bishop Patterson, give me another chance. And uh, Bishop Pastor, I didn't know you were in the running, but he said, but Bishop, I see tithing and right as I've never seen it before. <laughs> because it's not his time to get the tithe. <laughs> see, some people, you know, you don't see it until it's your day. But now, what you're doing for the pastor today, what we're doing for pastor and sister Dora today, uh, you will be surprised to know how much they put into the church after today, before today. They make many sacrifices. I know that. I know that. And if you're not careful, uh, you know, he'll turn around and be giving back more than you even give him today. He's, he's, he's just a giver. Let's show our love here. We've come to celebrate this and always in order to give a time. So what I want you to do, and of course, Minister, the elder, uh, White is coming back to actually leading this venture given for the uh, session with the offering. But I want you to let this be in your spirit. Everybody will stand to your feet for this declaration. Now, it just so happened that God has placed this on my heart. And then this morning, God placed some words on my heart about the ministry of giving declaration. And then the Elder White came over and said to me, I want you to lead in the ministry of giving. And then I leaned over to Brother Malone. I said, well, maybe the Spirit is speaking. I said, that declaration that God placed on my heart 
uh, and gave it to you. I said, do you still have it with you? He said, yeah, I got it in my car. And uh, so I'm going to read this ministry of declaration. Because when you give to the pastor and the wife, it is not just given to them, but you are planting a seed in the kingdom. This is the declaration. Listen to this prayerfully. Because I am a tither and a giver, I am anointed to prosper. I have and exercise the power which brings me wealth. I am blessed coming in and coming out. I am a distribution center. I am blessed to be a blessing. Unexpected and expected money come my way. I am a giver. 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 I thought somebody would be clapping their hands now. I am a giver, not a beggar or a taker. I am a lender, not a borrower. Wealth and riches are in my house. Wealth and riches are in my house. I am full, not empty. I am full, not empty. My hands are open, not closed. The wealth in my hands is used to spread the gospel and to establish God's covenant. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am successful, not a failure. I am healthy and not diseased. I am at peace, not depressed or distressed. My mind is alert. My mind is sober. My mind is intelligent and creative. I am in the present, destined for success, free from the past. It is so in Jesus' name. I celebrate it. I celebrate giving. I celebrate the means of giving. I celebrate the leaders that God has blessed us. Okay, the love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. 